if you've got a lot of money, you might be looking at cheap out-of-state markets thinking you could buy so many properties. For instance, what if I told you you could buy a five-unit apartment building for $139.9? It might blow your freaking brain. Is it a good deal? Is it a bad deal? That's what we're going to talk about. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holton Wise TV. I cut it to you straight here, man. Good, bad, ugly. That's what I give you. When it comes to investing in real estate. And I'm working with a man from California. Spiff, Spiff, you got two mil. Two mil in Cleveland. That's an insane amount of money, player. Right? You could do a lot with that. Especially when we got freaking five-unit apartment buildings on the market for $139.9. This is very similar to some other stuff you sent me. So I wanted to analyze this for you. I thought it would be very important for you to really understand this stuff. Right? A lot of people will look at this and be like, that is an insane deal, dude. You can get so much rent for such a low price. And that's true. You can. But there's other things about this listing that we really got to talk about. And that's what this is all about. That's what working with me is all about, Spiff, right? I'm not here to just shove every property down your throat and tell you, buy, 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 buy. That's not the business I'm in. I'm in the due diligence business, dude. I'm in the business where I cut it to you straight, give you guys... Uh, a resource here in Cleveland, right? First thing, though, is the resource you really need is education and market knowledge. Anybody could sell you a property, right? But I, I try to get you to buy the property at the right price and understand exactly what you're getting, the good, the bad, the ugly. If you don't believe me, watch the Tennis from Hell show, right? That's the first step. And then after that, of course, we got the property management, the maintenance, and the insurance, help you actually operate the investment, right? Because, dude, we walk the walk here, baby. We have sold over $200 million worth of these types of properties. We have the biggest rental portfolio scattered site in the market, right? So we know what we're doing. And just, you know, blindly selling your properties is not going to be good for the long haul, right? We didn't get to be the number one dog in town by just being like a traditional turnkey provider who's just like, buy, 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 buy. No, we want to show you exactly what you're getting. And then if you still want to buy it, good. If you don't, good, right? It doesn't matter to me. It's fucking real estate investing, dude. It's rental fucking property ownership. I don't have to get up on my show and be like, hey, man, it's really smart to buy rental properties. Any smart motherfucker knows it's smart to buy rental properties. It has made more millionaires than any other uh, business in America. There are no more self-made millionaires in industry in America than in the real estate industry. It's the most common way to become a self-made millionaire, right? If you are watching my show and you are at the point in your life where you don't understand if rental property ownership is something that makes the majority of people money, I don't want to fucking talk to you, bro. Don't fucking ask me to be like, man, James, can you... Why should I invest in rentals? Dude, if that's your question to me, fuck you. You shouldn't invest in rentals, motherfucker. I'm not trying to teach you that, right? I'm not trying to uh, argue with you and, and talk you into investing in real estate. No, 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 no. You got to figure that out on your own, right? And once you have figured that out, if you're a person who has decided that's the path you want to take, I'm the guy who's going to give you the most honest take on what the business is like and then i'm the guy who's got the infrastructure to actually help you operate that business so with all that said if you like what i'm about to do for spiff with this rental property folks and you you want to work with us like he's doing shoot us an email sales at holdenwise.com give us your phone number we'll talk to you about your specific goals your specific situation talk to you about what products and services are going to be best for you let's hit up a quick commercial and then we'll get into the deal Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Welcome back. Let's jump right into this property. Now, this is pretty cool uh, because I think it is priced right, but I do have uh, some issues and some reservations with the listing itself. Now, does that mean that it's not a good deal? No, but I just want to make sure we're on the same page, okay? 
3495 West 98th, Cleveland, 44102. Just hit the market, three days on the market, priced at 139900 Now, you might be looking at this like, holy crap, dude, a freaking five unit for 139900 This thing is out of this world, craziest deal in the world. No, I don't think it's the, the craziest, most amazing deal in the world. I don't necessarily think it's a horrible deal. I think the price point you have to pay will be that one thirty nine nine, and I feel like the property in its current uh, situation is, is probably worth one hundred thirty nine nine. I think that's a pretty reasonable uh, deal for both the seller and the buyer. Now, you take a property like this, the neighborhood. It's like you know, high D, low C grade neighborhood. We have freaking. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of units in this particular neighborhood, right? This is a neighborhood where, uh, you know, I prefer to go with the Section 8 tenants, right? I feel like the rents, you know, they typically get pushed a little higher that way because you have a much wider uh, tenant base, number one. Number two, this is a type of area where, yeah, these folks are manageable, but, you know, they're just like one, you know, poor life uh, situation or circumstance away from missing your rent payment, right? And trying to evict motherfuckers in the day and age of fucking COVID and the CARES Act and all that some fucking shit. It's a bitch, man. So, you know, you want to go Section 8. Now, as far as, like, getting this to market rent, if you had all five of these units rented at market rate, this building would probably be a $200,000 building, right? Now, and I, I know people are probably like, well, it's it, only 200000 Because, like, he, the rents are going to be high, right? As far as what the rents would look like, we're looking at 3350 for the long haul. That's 40200 right, for the year, right? You got three two ones, market rent seven fifty, a one one at 6 and a studio at 5 right? So you might be thinking, like, dude, at a five unit with those kind of rents, why is it only going to be worth, like, 200 dude? Like, you probably get similar... Uh, for a four unit. And that's true. You would, right? I don't really necessarily think this particular property having that fifth unit is going to add any real value because your, your price per unit on a, a five unit is going to be lower than your price per unit on a four unit, right? Reason being is the financing on a five unit is all fucked up, okay? It's, it's terrible, right? A four unit is the best property in the world to finance. Why? Because it's the biggest property that falls under... 30-year traditional residential financing, right? 30-year, fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible, right? The most units you can have to qualify for that loan is four. After four, you got to go to commercial financing. What do you think the worst type of commercial asset there is for a commercial lender? This motherfucker right here. It's a low-cost five-unit building, right? Once you get into commercial financing, it's, you know, big apartment buildings. 10, 12, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200, 400 units, right? This is a building that it, it is not desirable in the portfolio of a commercial lender, right? And as far as how it's being operated, right? Because once you're in the commercial space, guys, you have to... Uh, get financing differently, right? It's based upon the previous rent rolls and how the building was operated. And, and they look at the debt service coverage ratio. Totally different ballgame than when you're looking at the four units, right? That's just based on your income, your credit, right? The people that own five-unit apartment buildings are not typically your professional uh, landlords. So they don't keep good records. You're not going to get all that information and data that you're hoping or that your lender is hoping. So you're really just like chasing your tail in this big circle. Like the the honest to God's truth, the way this deal gets done is, is with a friggin' cash offer. Because like this particular dude is clearly not a professional, right? Like, first of all, he hired a realtor it's on the MLS, but it's a, it's just like a flat fee realtor. You just pay them a few hundred bucks, they put your property on the MLS, and then you just deal with the seller directly, right? And as far as the info we have, right, this is what they said. Nice, large, brick, five-sweeter. Great value add opportunity. Three two-bedroom units, one one-bedroom, one efficiency, private off-street parking. Two units currently rented with long-term tenants collecting eight twenty-five a month. Three units need renovation. Tenants pay utilities. Newer hot water tank. Roof needs attention. No active leaks. Current property managers are willing to stay. Landlord pays water and sewer $125 per month. First of all, the, the, the big thing, right? So we only have two units collecting rent, and it, it's way below market, right? Just like 825 is coming in. So you have like 
no current rent roll to impress a, a, a commercial uh, lender, right? So there's that issue, right? Now, as far as the units needing renovation, right? We don't really have, like, a lot of info on that, right? We got some photos of the outside, and then you just see that's it. Like, the electric panel and, like, one little shot of a dining room, right? It's clearly some, like, old carpet, right? So I would assume, like, a full cosmetic reno on those three units, you know, it could be, like, 10K. It could be... Uh, you know, could be 10K, could not be 10K. I'm not really 100% sure exactly what it's going to be. You'll have to figure that out uh, when you get in there and, and do the inspection, right? I mean, if, if they're just dated and you're doing full cosmetics, I mean, yeah, five ten thousand dollars $10,000 a unit, but, like, what if one is, like, totally wrecked or totally trashed, right? It's info that they haven't made available to us, right? They're completely vacant units. Why did they not get the pictures, right? That You know, that's that's something to concern yourself with, right? In addition to that, right, another problem I have with this is uh, they're saying that the landlord pays $125 per month uh, for the whole building. Well, yeah, probably, right, because there's like two fucking tenants in there. But that doesn't make any goddamn sense if it's a fucking five-unit apartment building. The way my numbers would pan out, right, thirty-three fifty comes in a month. 40200 comes in here. Your fixed and variable expenses are going to be over 20000 for the year, right? Because I think you're paying for your water and sewer almost $400 a month. I think you're paying 375 And if you pick the thing up at the price, though, right, the, the current price, the 139 it would be a 14.4 cap over the long haul, which looks amazing, which is, again, what I said it to be, uh, you know, which is what I said, right, like, earlier, like, you might see this and, like, be like, dude, 139.9 for a five unit, this must be the greatest deal ever, right, and, like, over the long haul, the numbers pan out to where it looks really good, but we have to dig deeper, there's a lot of unknown information, how much are the units going to cost, right, they're probably going to be at least 10k a unit, but I don't know, they said the roof needs attention, now, this is, like, a, a flat roof, okay, you take a big flat roof building like this. The way that these roofs are done is different than like what these are done, right? These right here are your normal uh, shingle roofs, okay? These usually last about 30 years. These are probably seven seven thousand dollar roofs, okay? This is a flat rubber roof, and it's probably original to the building. The way it works is it's like a flat roof, and then throughout the years, like every five ten years, people just like add layer and layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. And layer. Uh, of like additional roofing, right, to make sure there's no leaks, right? You take care of it. But what happens is when you get uh, to a, a level where uh, the roof uh, is no longer able to take on new layers because it's just too heavy for the structure, you have to go in and cut it down and, and totally remove the whole thing and start over. That could be like a $30,000 job, maybe $40,000 job, right? So it's possible the building has... Uh, worst case scenario, like $70,000 of repairs that it needs. Uh, but maybe the roof's not in that bad of shape. Maybe you can uh, have several more years of, like, tarring it up. I don't really know that, and the information we're getting uh, is not going to be uh, very good or accurate, right? It doesn't look like this person's too involved. I mean, as a matter of fact, they put this thing on the uh, the MLS as a four unit, right? There's like a whole different section of the MLS, right? The way the MLS is broken up, it's like single families are in one section, two to four units are in another, and then your five units plus is like a whole separate section. They didn't even put the building in the right section, right? So uh, they don't have the, the exact rents. We don't have pictures of these vacant units. So don't think that this is like a building you're going to get this beautiful, like, bow package of, like, here's all your info. We have to dig deeper, and we have to go in and do the inspections and figure all that out. We got to put together a budget for what the rentals are going to be for the units. We got to put together a budget uh, for what the roof is going to be. So with all that said, right, yeah, fully operational, yeah, it's probably a $200,000 building. Could have been worth more if financing wasn't going to be so jacked up, right? But it's definitely a $200,000 building uh, ready to rock and roll. Right now, at one hundred and forty, dollars you're like, oh, dude, you know, 60 G is less than what it could be worth. It must be a screamer. Eh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Like I said, I think it's probably worth one hundred thirty nine dollars right now because I think somebody's going to buy it. The demand in Cleveland is redunculous, right? People are buying these things like crazy, and you're going to get a lot of people that are going to see a five-unit uh, and see the fact that you could bring in 40 Gs in rent. 
and it's a pretty reasonable neighborhood, and they're going to they're gonna want to make a stab. So if you do want to buy it, it's going to be 139 I bet that's what you have to pay, but, uh, you know, it'll probably pan out to be like an average deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.